Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Michael Che. I'm Colin Jost. <laughs> the jury in his defamation case has ordered Donald Trump to pay writer E. Jean Carroll $83.3 million. And uh, Trump is a billionaire, so obviously he immediately hit up your grandma for five bucks. <laughs> they... <laughs> On Monday, Donald Trump testified under oath in his civil fraud trial, though technically he was never sworn in because the Bibles kept bursting into flames. (laughs) (laughs) Donald Trump said the results of the 2020 election should be overturned and called for the termination of the Constitution. Trump plans to terminate the Constitution by asking Herschel Walker to drive it to the clinic. (laughs) They ordered Trump to pay $83 million. That's how unlikable he is. For perspective, O.J. Simpson only had to pay $33 million for a double murder. He didn't even do it. Oh, okay, well... (laughs) This this Trump... (laughs) In Monday's Iowa caucuses, Ron DeSantis beat out Nikki Haley for second place. Well, that ought to put uh, whatever this is on his face. South Carolina Senator Tim Scott, who looks like someone drew Ving Rhames with their eyes closed, (laughs) endorsed Donald Trump. But remember, most Trump supporters only count him as three-fifths of an endorsement. (laughs) Oh, boy. (laughs) After, After a judge issued a gag order against President Trump, Trump told reporters that the judge said, basically, I don't have the right to speak. Then he added, she's like literally killing me. Then he yelled, you're not even my real mom, and slammed his bedroom door. (laughs) Kyle must have driven Trump crazy. The judge kept telling him to shut up. The jury made him pay triple what the victim asked for. Even the courtroom sketch artist made him look... (laughs) made, made him look like that lady who got her face ripped off by a monkey. The only way this could have gone worse for Trump is if they took away his businesses, which is, of course, what happens in next week's trial. I mean, those numbers were topped only by the 89% of viewers who rated moderator David Muir would smash. (laughs) Insiders are concerned that President Biden's chances for re-election could be damaged by his unwavering support for Israel. But I think the bigger problem for Biden is that he is six years older than Israel. (laughs) Shame on you. (laughs) A three-year-old girl from Texas has become the youngest person ever to visit all 63 U.S. national parks, unfortunately in the talons of an eagle. (laughs) After Ron DeSantis endorsed Donald Trump, he called DeSantis a really terrific person and promised to stop calling him Ron (laughs) DeSanctimonious. Well, it's like a wise man once said. You can be the most worthless Republican in America, but if you kiss the ring, he'll say you're wonderful. Well. (laughs) John Kerry announced that he is stepping down as the U.S. climate envoy and is expected to focus on President Biden's reelection campaign. And it's not a great sign that Biden's campaign is a bigger emergency than climate change. In an interview on Fox News, presidential candidate Nikki Haley said that America has, quote, never been a racist country. Because if Americans were so racist, why did they have sex with their slaves? (laughs) After the New Hampshire primary, Nikki Haley attacked Donald Trump and called out his, quote, senior moments, which made Trump so angry he almost ripped off the safety rails on his toilet. (laughs) Ron... (laughs) Ronald McDaniel was re-elected as chair of the Republican National Committee in a closer-than-expected vote over challengers Harmet Dillon, MyPillow CEO Mike Lindell, Twitter user Cat Turd 2, <laughs> Kevin Sorbo, Kyle Rittenhouse, and of course, Colin Jost. <laughs> also called Trump totally unhinged and called for him to take a mental competency test. And here's some footage of Trump trying to buzz in with his answers. Bing, ding, 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 ding. Pshin, pum. See, he's fine. Hasn't lost a step. Trump did have a slight stumble this week while talking about banks, and he introduced an interesting new term called debank. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> Republican, Repre Republican Representative Derek Van Orden, who looks like if Santa stormed the Capitol, <laughs> argued in front of legislation to bring whole milk back to school cafeterias, saying that almond milk wasn't milk because, quote, milk comes from a mammal. Then he whipped out his nipple and said, allow me to demonstrate. <laughs> We're also going to place strong protections to stop banks and regulators from trying to debank you. They want to debank you, and we're going to debank. I don't know what the hell debank means, but he might have to take de ambulance to see the doctor. I'm really proud of that. <laughs> A Christmas photo released by the royal family features a bad Photoshop job where Prince Louis's finger appears to be missing. And this is sweet. Meghan Markle said she has a finger they can use if they need it. <laughs> President Biden is planning to send the director of the CIA to broker a deal between Israel and Hamas because no one eases tensions in the Middle East quite like the CIA. <laughs> The CIA is like the Draymond Green of peaceful solutions. <laughs> it wasn't just CNN, even Fox News. Their undecided voters panel knew that Trump got crushed. How many of you say Kamala Harris won after everything you saw tonight? Raise your hands high. How many of you say Donald Trump won? Raise your hands high. Okay. So most of you say Kamala Harris. During Congress's... During Congress's final day before the holiday break, the House passed legislation that would end a ban on whole milk in school cafeterias. Finally, let's get these kids thick. <laughs> the man who attacked Nancy Pelosi's husband with a hammer has been found guilty and is expected to be in prison until Trump's first day back as president. He <laughs> gonna win. Yeah. <laughs> a new report shows that since the abortion ban took effect and these are calling, please don't let us win. <laughs> a Volvo crashed through the front of a Whole Foods in a Maryland suburb. It was an accident so white that everyone's insurance went down. <laughs> passenger on Spirit Airlines was arrested after he repeatedly asked female flight attendants to join the Mile High Club, <laughs> even though Spirit's airplanes can't get above 300 feet. <laughs> Gladstone's nomination comes after several Native American actors were snubbed in the past, including Johnny Depp in Lone Ranger. The Japanese movie Godzilla Minus One received a surprise Oscar nomination for his visual effects. Also receiving nominations, the Godzilla prequel, Oppenheimer. <laughs> is likely to drive Trump even more insane. As one GOP operative said, the headline for the next few days will be how he lost this thing. I expect him to do something drastic, whether it's a campaign shakeup or some other wild antic by the end of the week to change the upcoming news cycle, which can only mean one thing. Semi-retired maniac Donald Trump has launched a collection of digital NFT trading cards depicting him in various costumes, including cowboy, superhero, and most unbelievable of all, guy who didn't dodge the draft. Herschel Walker denied allegations from a second woman that he pushed her to have an abortion, saying, I'm done with this foolishness, which is also what Walker says when he takes off the condom. <laughs> claims that Walker drove her to an abortion clinic, then waited in the parking lot for hours until she had the procedure. Not only that, while he was in the parking lot, he got two more women pregnant. I'm honestly just relieved that he's wearing an American military uniform. It's such a funny move to get into NFTs after the whole market just crashed. It's like getting into Kanye now. Which Trump also kind of did. <laughs> Kanye West has now been dropped by Adidas, The Gap, Balenciaga, and all bar mitzvah playlists. <laughs> In the wake of Kanye's anti-Semitic comments, Adidas said it will stop making Yeezy shoes. Fans of Yeezy say it's the worst thing to happen to them since any puddle. <laughs> Bankman Freed, the former CEO of the cryptocurrency company FTX, was arrested on fraud charges in the Bahamas. I'm going to guess while swimming in a t-shirt. <laughs> 
Prosecutors allege that Bankman Freed took funds from FTX customers to make large political donations. That money will now be used to make sure the cameras outside his jail cell aren't working. <laughs> West also abruptly closed Donda Academy, which is a private school that forces parents to sign non-disclosure agreements. Wait, we can do NDAs, said Catholic school priests. <laughs> President Biden seen here giving the eulogy at a pimp's funeral. <laughs> Formally approved new legislation that will guarantee federal protections for same-sex and interracial marriages in a signing ceremony held over my grandpa's dead body. <laughs> Vir- is that bad? Vir- no, that's no, great. Virgin Australia is trying to get people to choose the middle seat by enrolling everyone who sits in those seats a chance to win over 200000 in prizes. Not to be outdone, Spirit Airlines well, four presidents visited New York City at the same time on Thursday, three to do a joint fundraiser at Radio City, and one selling Bibles door to door. Donald Trump has partnered with country music star Lee Greenwood to sell a $60 special edition of the Bible that also includes the Constitution, the lyrics to Greenwood's God Bless the USA, and I assume God's Letter of Resignation. <laughs> A new app has been introduced called Wrapped that claims it can show Instagram users who is looking at their pictures. Uh Uh-oh, said a bunch of high school teachers. (laughs) In her new book, Liz Cheney claims that one Republican called Donald Trump Orange Jesus. But it's like you always say, Colin, there's only one Jesus and he's white. (laughs) You know how you always say that? Yeah, I always say that. This Bible is mostly the same, but Trump's version ends with Jesus' disciples storming Jerusalem to overturn the results of the crucifixion. (laughs) Mitch McConnell, seen here catching up on news from the Middle East, (laughs) announced that he will... Announced that he will step down as the Republican leader in the Senate. McConnell has been leader for almost 20 years, but he first got involved in politics back in 1968 when he lost a fiddle contest to the devil. <laughs> Trump, Trump also posted this video urging his followers to buy it. All Americans need a Bible in their home, and I have many. <laughs> many believe he has many Bibles. I'm sure he's been sent thousands of Bibles with a note that says, please read this. Melania Trump made a rare public appearance when she attended the funeral of former First Lady Rosalind Carter, who died at the age of 96. Melania said that she was deeply saddened to be reminded that your partner can live that long. <laughs> former president and current reverse mortgage applicant, Conor Trump. <laughs> Criticized Biden's speech, saying the words are not flowing smoothly out of his mouth. Well, we can't all speak with the same effortless grace as Donald J. Trump. You heard that Saudi Arabia and Russia will be Oh, it sounds like someone just inserted a colonoscopy camera. Thank you, thank you, thank you. President Biden went to Walter Reed Medical Center for his annual physical. Doctors said Biden was fit as a fiddle in that he's old-timey and held together by strings. More than 5,000 people attended a Democratic fundraiser at Radio City Music Hall featuring big-name celebrities like Barack Obama, Stephen Colbert, and Lizzo, as well as lesser-known celebrities like President Joe Biden. (laughs) This week, Baltimore's Francis Scott Key Bridge collapsed after it was struck by a cargo ship that was carrying, you won't believe it, Boeing airplanes. (laughs) Elon Musk met with Benjamin Netanyahu this week and agreed that Israel must destroy Hamas. And I think Musk could destroy Hamas almost instantly by becoming their CEO. (laughs) Mitch McConnell. Mitch McConnell, seen here walking out of a theater after watching 12 Years a Slave. (laughs) President Biden said Friday that he would visit the site 
of the Baltimore bridge collapse because like that bridge, Biden is no longer connecting with black communities. President Biden made a drastic change in his immigration policy, saying he would be willing to shut down the border if given the power by Congress. It's the kind of unexpected shift in direction Biden usually only makes in the middle of a sentence. <laughs> the Biden campaign is trying to appeal to black voters as polls show their support for Biden has declined. It's getting so bad, he now only has support from Obama's white half. <laughs> you gotta read the polls. Wow. <laughs> Donald Trump shared a video Friday of a truck driving in Long Island with a picture on the back of President Biden tied up with a rope. And I'd love to know where to get one of those, because if you have that on the back of your car, you are never getting pulled over by a cop. Many are saying he is leaving because of his bad relationship with Donald Trump. But come on, just because you hate somebody doesn't mean you can't still have a very successful working relationship with them. <laughs> I almost feel like that was about me. <laughs> NBC News cut ties with Ronna McDaniel after many network hosts protested her hiring. And I'm actually very disappointed, only because I thought Ronna McDaniel was a drag version of Ronald McDonald. <laughs> <laughs> the FCC is preparing to criminalize unsolicited robocalls that use AI to impersonate politicians. But you can still impersonate Ted Cruz by shaving a sloth's face. <laughs> Some Democrats criticize President Biden for talking about migrants by using the term illegals. But come on, he's 81 years old. Let him slide. He means well. Like when my mom put up that sign to stop oriental hate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Colin, you go. <laughs> <laughs> Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, seen here remembering his presidential campaign, <laughs> signed a bill that will ban social media accounts for younger teenagers. But Florida's older teenagers can keep their social media accounts because they need a place to post their sonograms. <laughs> After Nikki Haley's poor showing in Michigan, pressure is mounting for her to drop out of the race, but mostly because the dishes are piling up at home. <laughs> <laughs> Colin, you go. <laughs> Biden also took time in his speech to say that shrinkflation is affecting Snickers bars and that people pay the same amount for 10% fewer Snickers. And I gotta give him credit because it's pretty risky for a white guy with a stutter to keep saying the word Snickers. <laughs> Dodgers star <laughs> Shohei Otani was forced to fire his interpreter over gambling and theft allegations. Reach for comment. Otani said something in Japanese. Uh, <laughs> there's no way of knowing what he said. Right. In an interview, Senator Mitt Romney said that he will not vote for Donald Trump over Joe Biden. Now, some of you may remember Mitt Romney. It's hard to do. It's hard to do. <laughs> JetBlue and Spirit Airlines announced that they are canceling their planned merger after a federal judge told JetBlue, girl, don't. <laughs> the CEO of Boeing announced that he's stepping down in the wake of the company's ongoing safety issues. And on his way out, he held up a bunch of nuts and bolts and said, good luck figuring out where these were supposed to go. Mitch McConnell officially endorsed Donald Trump for president because despite their differences, they actually go way back. <laughs> Donald Trump endorsed Mark Robinson for North Carolina governor, calling Robinson Martin Luther King on steroids. <laughs> Not to be confused with Martin Luther King on Ozempic. <laughs> All right, you go again, no. Colin. I don't know. I don't have what you do. I'm glad you told it. <laughs> Vice President Kamala Harris praised Beyonce for her new country album, saying that she has reclaimed country music's black roots. Um, I'm sorry, Hootie? <laughs> no love to Hootie? 
new report shows that South Korea now has the world's lowest birth rate, despite the efforts of South Korean entertainer Nick Can Oon. <laughs> Nick can ooh. Yeah, I know. We got heard you. Yeah. <laughs> it was reported that MSNBC Studios and 30 Rock have been infested with bed bugs. For more on this story, everybody look under your seats. <laughs> Netflix announced that in July it will live stream a fight between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. But the real fight will be Mike Tyson trying to pronounce Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> Herschel Walker denied allegations from a second woman that he pushed her to have an abortion, saying, I'm done with this foolishness, which is also what Walker says when he takes off the condom. <laughs> the woman claims that Walker drove her to an abortion clinic, then waited in the parking lot for hours until she had the procedure. Not only that, while he was in the parking lot, he got two more women pregnant. <laughs> During last night's Georgia Senate debate, Raphael Warnock accused Herschel Walker of lying about working in law enforcement. Then Walker pulled out a prop badge and said, quote, I am work with many police officers. <laughs> Which is yet another sign that Herschel Walker is has brain problems. <laughs> Georgia Senate candidate Herschel Walker denied reports that he paid for a girlfriend's abortion saying, I send money to a lot of people before adding, you know, for abortions. <laughs> After the news broke that Walker paid for his ex-girlfriend's abortion, he raised more than $500,000 because dollars are the only thing Walker is willing to raise. <laughs> Herschel Walker responded to Barack Obama criticizing his qualifications to be in the Senate by saying, put my resume against his resume. Fine. So here's Obama's resume and here's Herschel Walker's. <laughs> the key Senate race in Georgia between Raphael Warnock and Herschel Walker will move on to a runoff in December. But Walker has offered Warnock $500 to just, you know, take care of it, baby. <laughs> Many black voters in Georgia were frustrated with another runoff election because the burden of saving the Senate fell on them once again. It's happened so often, there's already a movie about it. <laughs> wow, that's a st stunning likeness. <laughs> she always was smiling. Plan Planned, Parenthood Planned Parenthood says it will soon open its first mobile abortion clinic in the country, which will make it easier to provide care to patients anywhere in the country that Herschel Walker has visited. <laughs> CNN has announced that due to budget cuts, they are scaling back on original series and documentaries. Yeah, apparently there was a flaw with the business model of giving Stanley Tucci millions of dollars to eat gelato. <laughs> <laughs> a zoo in Atlanta will allow visitors to carry firearms. So you want to try laughing at me again, monkeys? <laughs> in, in a speech yesterday, Herschel Walker called America the greatest country in the United States. <laughs> but on the plus side, at least he has a general idea of where he is. <laughs> Walker then apologized. Tôi sẽ đến giúp bạn đây. Bạn gì ơi? Kệ bạn đi tôi qua bên kia, tôi kiếm mấy thằng kia. Hay bà ơi. Ê từ 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 từ. Ủa đâu rồi? Ừ đây nè Ê sao tôi theo tôi hoài vậy? Đừng có theo tôi Để tôi tự nhiên được không? Đừng có theo tôi Trời ơi Ông đánh vào tôi đánh cái gì Đừng có theo tôi Đi ra đi
Uya, uya. Yeah, hey. He am knew how to lay. Me too. I'm new player. Tôi cũng mới chơi, tôi cũng không biết nữa. Cảm ơn bạn kia đã bỏ tôi nha. Bỏ tôi đi. Đừng theo tôi, theo tôi mất công. Tôi chết quan ổn nữa. Gần gần xong gần xong rồi Ok <cười> Ăn nhanh vậy anh Nguyên Ăn nhanh vậy Ăn vậy đâu tự đó ăn từ từ thôi Rồi bay lên Nhanh lên coi đi nhanh lên Chậm quá Uh. Hey, yeah. Rồi bây giờ mình cứ mình cứ đứng đây mình dàn hạ mình chém thôi. Không, 